Welcome back to the fourth ep- What are we on? Yeah. Fourth installment of Building Your Ideas. For those of you who don't know, this is where I build your ideas. Double camera. So please leave a little comment. We'll type some words down below, letting me know what project I should make next. The last part, I made the Edith glasses from Spider-Man. I thought it was a pretty interesting build and a lot of you guys agreed. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for a part two. Subscribe if you want to be notified about that. Also subscribe because we are so freaking close to 1 million subscribers, guys. Come on. I need this validation. My mom, she'll finally be proud of me if we get this. Finally let me back in the house. Anyways, let's hit the comments from the last video to figure out what we're gonna make in this one. You guys already probably know by the title though. And I already know because I planned out the whole video, but <laughs> we can all just pretend this is the process, okay? Ahem. The cyclic of four comments. Do a drone mounted project like Mysterio. First of all, Jesus dude, what is that name profile combo? Sick liquor one through three is probably taken though. Understandable. Actually, you know what really grinds my gears? Those profile pictures with like hairs on them and flies. Like, you know who you are. What, think you're better than me? Anyways, the comment got like 450 upvotes, so it's clear it's in uh, high demand. So that's what we're gonna do today. A few more comments though, just cause I like these mini Q and A's. Shipper says, Make a Percy Jackson sword. I've actually thought about this project a little bit, but obviously it's pretty hard to cram that much material into a tiny little pen or something like that. Let me know if you want me to try that though. Abhaisik asks, can you make a top secret computer hidden table? Um, actually, one of you guys already made this project. I did a fantastic job. Actually featured it previously. On that note guys, please keep sending me the stuff you are making so I can feature it just like this. Follow me, DM me, tag me on Instagram down below at jlaservideo. I think it's really inspiring to see what you guys come up with. Like Johnny actually sent me this picture of this gas powered longboard he made. Looks like it rips, so uh, very cool. On to the build. So for those of you who don't know, Mysterio, the villain in Spider-Man Far From Home, uses drones with some sort of like projection, high tech technology on them to basically make the opponent think they're somewhere they're not, completely confuse them, mess with their mind, turns the whole environment to someplace else, gives like these super trippy visuals, basically like doing a whole lot of acid. So that's what we're gonna try and recreate. Not the acid part, we're doing the, the drone one. Just wanna make that clear. So after a little digging on the interwebs, I found this tiny little projector right here. Now if we turn this on, see it starts to light up and then it'll start to, ah. Mm. It'll start projecting, as you can see. Let's kill these lights real quick. Projection screen on the wall right there. However, this field of view, I don't think it's super immersive. I think we can do better. So I had the idea to get some of these tiny little cell phone lenses right here. It's basically just widen up the field of view of your smartphone camera. So I thought maybe it'll work in reverse. Maybe we're actually going to be able to widen up this picture by just uh, sticking these wide fisheye angle lenses on the front. From this big, to this big. That big, to that big. You can see much bigger, but that's not big enough. We can take another lens, put the two lenses together, create an ultimate zoom immersion lens. So this is the size normally, stick one lens on, gets up to about that big. And if we stick two lenses on, it's bigger than I can fit on the screen, which is great. So it goes from that big to that big. Much more immersive. However, you may have noticed that the projector, that because we're spreading out the screen so much, this thing has a specific amount of light it's able to produce. Tiny little section. It's originally gonna be pretty bright. If we spread it way out, it's gonna darken up a bit. So at the moment, there's not too much I can do about this because we need to keep the projector small because we're eventually gonna be putting this thing on a drone. Now, later down the road, I have my eye on this projector right here called Broom X. Um, and it's not for sale, but basically it's a super immersive 3D projector. It's like meant to change the room you're in. Just totally immersive gives you the basically the closest effect that we're trying to go here and it looks pretty small potentially could fit on a drone so hopefully I can get my hands on one of them and we can stick down on a drone for now we're gonna use this projector right here <laughs> would you look at that here's a drone now this is a pretty cheap drone so I'm skeptical it'll even be able to lift this let's do a simple lift test all right let's see if it flies Given all she's got cap. No dice. Alright, so we're even gonna need to do some weight reduction to this thing. 
go get ourselves a new drum. Did it, but it really did not like that. I think I'm definitely gonna have to try and do some weight reduction. Or what if we put the two drones together? weight reduction done on the projector so I'd literally just taped it to the bottom of the drone let's see if we can lift it now Alright guys, so we got the drone right here with the projector, as you can see, projects on the wall. Wide field of view, very immersive. Let's see if we can get this thing up in the air though. That's the important part. So as you can see, when we turn on the projector on the drone, if we get it in the ideal conditions, it can really give a very immersive illusion to make it look like we're in outer space, for example, snorkeling underwater maybe, or really anywhere else. You can load videos onto the onboard SD card, or I'm sure you can connect over Wi-Fi for better control that way. Pretty neat little gadget. And I didn't plan this at all, but it actually kind of looks like the drones from the movie uh, with the color scheme. The sort of black and white industrial look. Just so happened that the projector and the drone were both this color. Also some more features to make this even more like the movie. All the DJI drones actually have follow capabilities, so you can literally select an object and it'll track them. So we can in theory be projecting an image at someone or an object and they're walking around and the drone's like automatically following them. So very close to the movie. However, it doesn't work so well in the dark because the drone can't really see anything and that's really the only setting this current version works in. Still a potentially very cool feature for later down the road. One more thing in the movie, it looks like they're projector drones and gunner drones. Um, and it turns out I've already made sort of like a gunner drone attachment for this thing. I actually built an RC laser attachment in a previous video. If you're 
you're interested, definitely check out the whole video. But uh, yeah, guys, that about wraps it up for this one. Kind of more of a proof of concept over anything. Some ways this could be improved. You get a larger drone and a larger projector, obviously, for a much brighter picture and a more immersive feel. But honestly, pretty happy with what we came up with. You might even be able to use this as like a mobile TV setup or video game station, just to have it follow you around. You got a controller, you're like, walking around, playing on various things you're projecting on. I don't know, but that's about it for this one though. If you did like this video though, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this one. So thank you guys very much for watching and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.